Romelu Lukaku recently lost his first ever Champions League final, being involved in many highlights, but none of them were positive. Since scoring 53 goals within two seasons in the Premier League, he's been a shadow of the player we've all witnessed him to be. After his £75 million move from Everton to Manchester United, many people noticed many negative changes to his footballing ability and appearance. His career seemed to have made a U-turn when he joined Inter Milan, scoring 64 goals in two seasons and returned to Chelsea for £98 million but this wasn't the case. Well in today's video I am going to be attempting to save Romelu Lukaku's career. First of all I'm bringing him back to where it all went wrong, an £80 million transfer to Manchester United as expectations were at an all time high. I think it's fair to say this transfer flopped. He's three years older and has experienced what it's like to play under the pressure of high expectations. I'm not going to lie, it was so difficult not to bring him back to Everton as that debatably when he was in his prime, but I felt like bringing him back to Manchester United makes the most sense. It's the big transfer, it's when ex expectations were at his all-time high. Everyone expected him to be this goal-scoring machine that he was at Everton. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. But Manchester United, they've changed a lot. They've got Eric Ten Hag in charge. They could be in a title charge in a couple of years' time. So for him, personally, this possibly would be the best move. And the team around him doesn't need much improvement, so he fits straight into this team and is pretty much ready to start the season. And to help Lukaku out even further, they've brought in the rumoured Mason Mount. He's rumoured to join in real life, and Eric Ten Hag's brought him in to help Lukaku. And even after some new recruitments, Lukaku still struggled to fit into this Premier League team. I was really worried about the rest of the season and how he's actually going to get on. Rashford, we need Lukaku to get in box, try and make you run Lukaku. We'll play it Lukaku, he's got a first opportunity, he gets tackled straight away. His ball control's not the greatest. Bruno Fernandes, try and get this on Lukaku's head. It's in for Lukaku, Lukaku's won it, he's gone over the ball. He's not having a great game so far. Romelu Lukaku steps up for a penalty kick in his debut. Please put this away, lad. Come on, you've got to score this. Romelu nope. Lukaku. This debut couldn't get any worse. Try and get it across. Mess up Mount, can we get an assist? Lukaku, did he stay on side? Hit it. Oh. Losing 2-0 to Brighton and Lukaku missing a penalty wasn't the most bizarre thing to happen in the space of 10 minutes. Hold on, I'm sorry, I've got to put a break in this video. So I've just sold Fred to Juventus for I think £20 million. And they've come in for Bruno Fernandes just a matter of days later with a swap deal. So they've offered £74 million, which is quite reasonable. And then they've offered Fred. Fred again. Anyway, she can't make this up. A couple of days after, Juventus also come in for Lissandro Martinez. And you guessed it right, they've offered Fred again. Fred again. Seriously, <laughs> this game's broken. After the game breaking itself, Lukaku actually managed to find some form. Anthony, get it through. Romelu Lukaku's managed to beat his line of defence. Romelu Lukaku, you've got to put this away, surely. Oh my god, as if that slipped in, that's Lukaku's first goal. <laughs> and he scammed his way for that. Rashford. Great bit of pace. We'll try and get it across the box to Lukaku. Can we get through? He's going to miss a mount. And oh my god, that were awful. Humiliation. Oh my god, that's a beautiful touch by Lukaku. Can we keep it going? Get it back to Anthony. Lukaku, can he make his run? We'll recreate his first goal. He's not been able to. Can we get it over the top to Lukaku? Bring it down. It's managed to Oh, that is incredible, Lukaku. I'll tell you what, build up play from Lukaku and then the finish as well. He fully deserved that one. Oh my god, Rash has been unselfish and Lukaku scored an hat trick in his second game for United and against Liverpool at Anfield. This revival so far has started off incredibly well. Oh, that's a perfect delivery. Lukaku's won that shoot. Oh my God, what an incredible goal. That is unbelievable. Oh my God, Lukaku finished that, surely. Oh my God, he's on absolute fire. He doesn't miss a shot. He actually hasn't missed a shot all game. Romelu Lukaku is on fire. This transformation's already done. Anthony plays it through. Romelu Lukaku's in a lot of space. This is surely a goal. Puts it past Jordan Pick for Chule against his former club. I'm not going to lie, that one hurts a little bit. Oh, Lukaku against nope. Chule. Oh, Jordan Pick for what a save. Lukaku, a chance to redeem himself from a penalty spot. Can he score this time? Or is he going to bottle it again? He can score penalties. Oh, that is a sensational goal by Lukaku. He's an absolute fire. I keep saying it, but he is. Oh, my God. The power on his shot should be illegal. I'm not going to lie, probably should be shooting with the other players, but to get Lukaku in a goal, I don't see why not. So we've reached to January, and Roman Lukaku is having a sensational season so far. I know he was on fire, but I wasn't expecting this good of form in his first season. 18 goals in 30 appearances, even picking up three assists as well. Unfortunately, Romelu Lukaku didn't win the Ballon d'Or this year. Erling Haaland, the freak of the man, of course he'd win it but there's still time for Lukaku to win it. And he's currently third in the Premier League top goal scorers. Unfortunately, Salah's taken that top spot. I would love to take him off there. In terms of Manchester United, we're not doing too bad in the league. We're currently second, 10 points behind Manchester City. Manchester City are just on another level this season. Erling Haaland's a complete freak. But I would love to catch him up somehow. But Lukaku's in his first final back at Manchester United and none other against his former club, Chelsea. Let's prove these wrong and prove Lukaku can still do it. 
Lukaku, great opportunity. Managed to get behind Chelsea's defence. He's going to have to go on his weak foot here. Nope. His right foot, and Mendy saves it. Oh my god, what a ball. Bruno Fernandes has been sensational as well. Romelu Lukaku, he took a bit of a dodgy touch. Managed to revive it. Nope. Lukaku, oh my god, Mendy's having gamer his life. Oh, it's a great goal by Bruno Fernandes. I tried playing to Lukaku to try and hold it up. But Bruno Fernandes didn't need it. 1 0 up in the final. How's Bruno doing that? Oh, Lukaku. Lovely run by Rashford. Nope. Can we get behind him? Rashford puts it away, surely. How's that not gone in? That's a great ball. Lukaku touched it down. He has done. Nope. Can we banish beat goalkeeper? Oh, that is a lovely goal. Rashford with the assist and Lukaku with a finish as well. 2 0 up in the final. Surely this is Lukaku's first trophy back being in the Premier League. Whee! Cool, lovely bit of skill to get behind his defender. Can we put that one away as well? That's two goals now. Romelu Lukaku's found his form in this final. And it's a complete different comparison to the Champions League final. And that is at night eight. We have won the Carabao Cup. And what a performance by everyone on that pitch. But all eyes are on this man. He returned to Manchester United after an awful start through an £80 million transfer. Fully turned himself around this time round. Lifting the trophy in his first season. It's a great start to things for Lukaku. But unfortunately, Romelu Lukaku did slow down. 24 goals in 55 appearances. Still not bad whatsoever. But the form he was in, the fire he was on, I expected a lot more. But 24 goals in his first season back in the Premier League. Can't really complain at that. Unfortunately, he didn't go on to win the Premier League, losing out by four points to Manchester City. I'll tell you what, though, for our first season, it's a valiant effort. The Europa League, unfortunately, got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Napoli, and then getting knocked out in the fifth round by Brighton in the FA Cup. It's a mixture of emotions from Romelu Lukaku, scoring 24 goals, winning the Carabao Cup, but unfortunately not winning anything else. Let's see how it gets on next season. And it started very promising. 17 goals in 24 appearances. It's an incredible start to the second season for Lukaku. We are currently in January as well, so there's a lot more time to grow and score a lot more goals. Unfortunately, he didn't win the Ballon d'Or yet again. Kylian Mbappe this time winning it. I will win it with Lukaku, I'm telling you. Manchester United are top of the league by four points. I can already tell this is going to be an incredible season. And then we've got Atletico Madrid in the round of 16 in the Champions League. So that's probably us out of this competition. And United have managed to get through to the Carabao Cup final. They've got a chance to defend it and bring it back to Old Trafford. Let's hope Lukaku can have another masterclass in this final. Jed Spence is actually getting game time. Asensio signed for Spurs. That's a... Oh my God, and Harry Kane, what a finish. Not a great start to this final. Romelu Lukaku, great opportunity. Romelu Lukaku, we've got to get past Ryan Sesson Young. He's managed to be able to get behind him. I'll try and cut it back. Oh, I'll try to be unselfish. Oh my god, great opportunity, Lukaku. We need to score this, otherwise we're going to lose it. Romelu Lukaku has put it wide. Lukaku, what are you doing, lad? And now Spurs have got a penalty. I can't believe Spurs are actually going to win a trophy. Harry Kane. Nope. Oh my god, De Gea pulls one out of the bag. Now United's got a penalty. Bruno Fernandes steps up. We've got to score it. Bruno Fernandes, please put this one away. Bruno, nope. oh, he misses, man. And that is it. That is a full-time whistle. We've lost the final and we've lost the Carabao Cup. And more important, Spurs have actually won a trophy. I said that I had a promising feeling about this season and we've reached the end of it and Lukaku's completely explained why. He has finished on 43 goals in 57 appearances. He was just on another level this season. And then Manchester United did go on to win the Premier League by eight points, beating Manchester City to it this season. Surely this is a Ballon d'Or shout. Unfortunately, they did get knocked out of the fifth round of the FA Cup by Brighton. And then unfortunately losing the Champions League semi-final against Bayern Munich. However, the Euros have come around, so Lukaku's got a massive chance to prove himself to Belgium. Yeah, and that didn't go great. Lukaku... Put this away, surely. Gone for his left foot. And that is an awful finish. Lukaku, great opportunity. Love turn of pace. We've got to finish this. Lukaku on his weak foot. Oh my God, as if that's gone in. I didn't expect that one. Oh my God. <laughs> as if that one's gone in from Kevin De Bruyne. Lukaku with an assist. Lukaku, great opportunity. Been blocked. I'm going to go out and say it. I think Belgium are just cursed. We couldn't get through this group C in the Euros, so... I think that's that. My main priority this season is going to be the Champions League. I really want to bring it home for Lukaku. So to do that... I think the squad needs a little bit of improvement. Alfonso Davies is the first one through the door. Unai Simons coming to be our number one goalkeeper. Frankie De Jong coming in for £150 million. Luke Shaw's gone the opposite way to Newcastle United for £41 million. De Ligt's joined from Bayern Munich for £110 million. We've spent a lot of money. But it all seemed to be worth it because we have just gone on to win the Community Shield. Not the most major bit of silverware, but it's still another one to add to the collection. We've gone straight through to January and Romelu Lukaku is on 11 goals this season out of 23 appearances. Not the start I was expecting. <laughs> However, Romelu Lukaku has actually gone on to win the Ballon d'Or. I mean, if he would have been into 25 to 30 goals already this season, I would have expected this. But after the poor start, 
Wow, I can't believe he's actually gone on and won it. Manchester United are top of the league by 12 points, just above Arsenal. For the third season in a row, Manchester United are through to the final of the Carabao Cup. We've got Manchester City, so there's no better opponent to beat in this final. Let's hope Lukaku could produce something special in this final. Kevin De Bruyne, great opportunity to play it through to Haaland. Haaland, I don't want to defend against this man because he can do that from nowhere. 1 0 down in a Carabao Cup final to a bit of absolute magic by Haaland. Lukaku's got a great chance. We have to score this. This is the only chance we've had all game. Lukaku, could he put it past it? It's put it wide again. And that is a full night here. It's another final. Our second season in a row. We've absolutely bottled the final. This time against City. And what a turn of events. Eric Ten Hag has been sacked by Manchester United, so I wasn't expecting that. I don't understand why I got sacked. Manchester United did go on to win the league by nine points over Liverpool. Unfortunately, got battered in the round of 16 by Sevilla in the Champions League, so that's probably why. The more important thing, Romelu Lukaku did go on to finish top goal scorer in the Premier League, scoring 27 goals in 38 matches. And he's actually signed a deal to go to Wolves, so... A bit of an interesting one. But with Lukaku winning the Ballon d'Or and winning a couple trophies on the way, I think it's fair to say his transformation, his rescue mission has been completed. If you have enjoyed this video concept and would like me to do it with any other player, please do let me know. I love these kind of videos. They're a lot of fun to make, unless I get sacked halfway through the season. But if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Feel free to leave a little comment as well. It'd be very much appreciated. It will help this channel massively get into the whole YouTube algorithm. It's a scary place to be at this moment in time. But like I said, if you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.